Okay, so part two, we're going to st go from this idea of um, this incredibly fundamental, cool way of creating finite numbers and then see how we would go do that with infinity. Okay? Turns out we really need some very explicit axiom of infinity. Um, if you look at the standard axioms for set theory, if you don't mention infinity in the axioms, you don't get it automatically. You just get um, basically the theory of um, the finite natural numbers and everything you can do with those. Um, so we need an explicit axiom to get not just arbitrarily large finite numbers, but a set that encompasses all the finite numbers. And there's a, there's a big difference there, okay? So here's what we'd kind of like to say, or one, one possibility. There is a set that contains all possible finite numbers. Um, that whole all possible finite numbers is, is very slippery. If you just kind of already don't know what they all are already, then saying there's a set that contains them all, it's very slippery, okay? Um, but what the, here's what the axiom says, and it's, it's more precise, um, and it also fits better with ideas like, of like recursion and induction. There is a set that contains zero, the empty set is what we have, and such that if it contains any set A, it also contains its successor. Remember, we have a way, this is really a way of taking any set you've ever heard of, regardless of whether it was something made out of curly braces and, and empty sets, um, and producing what's called the successor set of it. Um, then it's just taking it and taking another copy, putting it in a box, and then putting them all uh, in a big in a bigger box. Okay, just taking the set you already had, and then unioning it with that thing inside curly braces. Okay, so that's one version of the axiom of infinity. Okay, um, now this doesn't necessarily say that it's this, that's all it contains. That zero. So this is definitely going to contain zero. It's definitely going to contain s of zero, which is one and s of s of 0, which is 2, and s of s of s of 0, which is 3, and et cetera. So it's going to contain any finite number you can think of, so that's good. It doesn't in itself say that it contains, doesn't contain anything else. It turns out you can use the other axioms of set theory to cut it down. Um, so this is a little, a little bit more efficient. We don't have to say that it's just containing that stuff. So we take basically the smallest such set, um, um, and that's going to only contain 0 and its successors. So it's only going to contain 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, and never stopping. And the never stopping is because if you say, oh, I think it stops at 17, uh-uh. It's, this is the kind of set that if it contains 17, it must contain 18. Okay, I think it stops at 18. Nope. If it contains 18, it's got to contain 19, and so on. If you've ever done mathematical induction, you can see how this is really basically saying that this is a set where mathematical induction is going to make sense. Okay, and that's really the, the fundamental thing. Okay, so we're going to call this little omega, uh, following Cantor, and this is his, this is the name for this kind of infinity, this set that is all the natural numbers. When we think of it in this way, there's other names for it when we think of it in different ways. So here's a picture of it. Here's zero, one, two, three, ch -ch -ch, and just and the arrow is supposed to suggest go on forever. And we'll get be more explicit about what that arrow means and how to put stars and arrows together in a minute. And another notation would be, it would be the limit of all n as n goes to infinity. Um, and that's, we, we had to put an axiom in to make that make sense, but it turns out you only have to do that once, really. Okay, so here's the next thing we could do. It makes total sense to take the successor of that. You just take omega, which is itself a set of natural numbers. So that it's just 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, dot. And then take omega itself and put it in the list as well. Okay. And this is really, this is probably the most important step here uh, of this process, the idea of taking the successor of omega. So you have a set that contains all the natural numbers, and then because you can always put, you can always just put things in curly braces, you say, okay, I'm going to take that itself and add it to a new list. So we've basically got a box that contains a bunch of these 0, 1, 2, and if you want to unpack them, they're all really made of nested empty boxes as well. And then omega is this box con that contained copies of 0, 1, 2, da, 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 et cetera. And then you put that in as a new thing in a new box. All makes sense with the axioms of set theory. Um, and so here's, here's a picture of it. Um, the important thing for us is going to be that that omega really, 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 really has to come after the dot, dot, dots. It's very important that it was something that um, to define it, we actually needed all these things created in the first place, or at least to know they were out there. So the, the picture is here's 0, 1, 2, 3, et cetera, dot, 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 and then we kind of start over with this new thing, Omega. 
Okay, so this might look weird. This idea of dot 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 going off to infinity and then something. Wait, I thought that dot dot dots meant you couldn't put anything after that. Um, in a lot of contexts, it's pretty weird to put something after the dot dot dots. But we're gonna see how that really makes sense. Okay, um, the main thing is that it's all about keeping track of the order these symbols are in and then that means this we have to delve in just a tiny bit into what does the idea of order mean at a very basic level um, once we do that hopefully it'll be more clear why this has to be in this order and why this star picture is really pretty accurate okay and it'll also tell us um, how do we go what, where do we go next after omega plus one although you can probably guess um, but but how far can we kind of take that okay um, that'll be the next video